So guys, welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. So guys, last episode, we are finally making the move to try to take over Richmond, to stop Joan, maybe help David, and free this town from the corruption that has been happening here. But guys, before we get started with this drama-packed episode... If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, ring that bell notification to become part of the 300 army, because guys, we are still on the road to 200 subs. And guys, with that being said, I love you all. Let's not waste too much time. Let's get back in The Walking Dead. Alright, so now we're here in this lovely office. Clementine is here. We uh, also have Dr. Lingard here, who we can... Also, slap again, but, um, not that's gonna work, so we're not gonna slap him again, even though we all would love to, but we gotta get Javier cleaned up here. See what we can find in here. What is he, some pills? Not what I'm looking for. Alright, what we got in here? Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Oh, wow. Well, I guess you got a point. No, thanks. All right, what's in a medical kit? Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. All right. Um, what else we got here? Let's take a, take a look around in Dr. Lingard's office. What we got? What is this right here? Capsule bottle. Just pills. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Here we go. Oh, some pets. Right to um solve Clementine's um problem. <laughs> Her uh small problem. Yeah, um, let's go ahead and talk to her real quick. Let's go ahead and give her, give hey, her these items. This is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. It's awkward as hell. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. Ah, right. From the dog bite from season two. Okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural born mother. Kenny! No, Kenny! It's a butterfly. <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. A dog, a bird, a rabbit. How about a dog. Down, boy. Kitty! That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Oh. Um, what? Oh. Alright, then light both sides. There we go, let there be fire. Just a second, goofball. Voila. <laughs> hey, get away from him! Oh, crap! Grab something, what are you doing? Get out of here! 
Get out of here. Smell what the rock is cooking. Is he okay? Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth fighting for. What I did to Carver, I did for you. I know. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking. It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. Anywhere's better than here. I don't think I can stand another day of snow. We'll find you a playmate in no time, kid. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just happy. Oh, Kenny. First time in a while. Hug this damn bear. Hug him. <laughs> Kenny. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. That is true. I miss Kenny, bro! What the hell? And then one, one month later. Is this how she met Javi, or... When was this? The hell? Draw the knife. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. Oh. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine. I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't he easy. He needs me. I had to do it. Tell me he's okay. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be, which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but here.
PJ's doodling. Oh no! It's a drawing! David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. Lee! He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head. Helping me. Guiding me. He's still with you, you know. Here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell. You and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. I promise. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. I like Ava. She always likes to keep it real, which is just key. I always keep it 100. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Oh, snap, he's awake. Javier. Thought you were rotting in a cell with David. What with his eyes? Chance he got out too. I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's. He's not getting out. Guess there's only one. Sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. 
You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. Where is he? Thanks to you or David. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then? You... You want to know where the boy is? The hell? What is he doing? What do you want? I... I just want to die. Oh, crap. I want you to inject this into me. You can't give up, Dr. Lingard. We need you. You need meds. We need pills. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Oh, no. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Oh, crap. Then you won't have any reason to do it. Wait, I gotta make a choice? What? Oh, okay. Javi, I have to know. I've been know. for too long. I know, Clem. I know. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. All right. All right. I'll do it. Oh, man. Well, where is he? This is not the answer. He's he's at the McCarroll Ranch, a few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget. Jones looking for you and your friend. You better hope she doesn't find you. Oh my gosh, bro. That's it. He's gone. I've got it. Oh, come on, bro. You got to be kidding me. Well, Dr. Lingard, I thank you. For the pills. For all the pills that you gave everybody in the world. Thank you. Um, thank you for telling Clementine where AJ is. Why can I not say what the hell? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh okay, never mind. Well <laughs> oh, hey. Hi, Clementine. I was trying to say my condolences. Surprised to see you here. The yeah. hell? Right back at you. You all good? Yeah. We're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Keep walking, kid. Not a, not a chance in hell. Just keep, keep keep walking. I know what you're doing. You are not on Clementine's level, buddy. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh she's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh hell, you okay? Yeah, it looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them all right. One for you, and one for you. 
I saved this one for you. Oh my god. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. Okay, here we go. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? He's I dead. say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. Actually, Lingard's dead. Oh my god. He asked me to help him end it, so I helped him. I... I had no idea things had gotten that bad for him. He was done. With all this. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. Yep, that's we true. the match. The people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but... It's way better than nothing. People are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Oh, hey. shoot. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Uh... Bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, crap! I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, hey. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. I thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor. Can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Wait, what? Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. It's not a bad place to start, and it's good you want to help. We've got to talk it through before we settle on anything. Just as long as I get to come along. Not that I don't appreciate the can-do attitude, but I don't know if you're invited, little man. I think oh, crap. I agree with Trip. Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Oh Gabe, my god. Take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there. And I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through. So everybody comes out okay. 
Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Oh! Back in the tunnel, oh! When he came after us. He tried to bargain with you. What? Well, you thought killing him would be easier. My man! Such a mouth! What the hell? I saved your life, too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What? <laughs> what the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You no. murdered my friend? No! What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was going to shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. Oh my god. Sure that. Looks what? like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. Oh. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We could take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... Just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see oh things getting started God. in the square. Fuck, freaking Gabe! Darn it! Let me take off my belt, like, for five minutes! <laughs> Please! Let me take off my belt, I promise you! <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I just had to freaking run his mouth, didn't he? I was actually, I forgot all about that, honestly, guys. I, I really did. I forgot all about him. Come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I swear, I just want to just take my belt off. Like, just give me like five Listen, minutes. Conrad, you're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Are you serious? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. Are you kidding me? You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. Are you serious, bro? What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. Bro, just... Bro, just give me five minutes. That's all I'm asking. Five. Five minutes with a belt. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, bro. Let me, let me. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Woo. All right. Let, let me, let me talk to this fool. Let me talk to him. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying on, to. Javi. Why? Just, just tell me why. You gotta be a wheel talk later. Everything's quiet out here. What's your what is your problem? You gotta be too quick. What is your problem, man? What is it? Mm. Alright, let me calm down. Let me calm down. <sighs> let me let me calm down. And let me be let me let me just say what Lee would do in this situation. I know it sucks sometimes, but you've gotta be a team player. It's about thinking of everyone. I get it, okay? Just quit treating me like a kid all the time. You know what? Just let just you know what? I'm I'm, I'm gonna take the Kenny route. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna just take the Kenny route. Just give him a good old fashioned, you know, good old fashioned butt kicking. But you know, we, we, the game doesn't give us that kind of option. So, what's going on with this fence? Oh crap. Gotta be careful. Any more muertos pushing? And those boards won't hold up. Alright, let's let's go. 
Uh, what we got over here? We got a lot of Badger's truck. Okay, I forgot. Oh yeah, good old Badger. Look at that. Go ahead and look at this beautiful truck. Locked. We can't catch a break. Muertos would probably rip this old truck apart in seconds. That is true. Alright, let's look at the excavator. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. Yeah, but it's sturdy though. Alright, let's talk to Clementine. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. All right. Um, bulldozer. What we got? Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Okay. All right, so my guess is the truck is right up under here, of course. It's, it's always in the most obvious spots. But everybody just wants to look around at other stuff, but this is how this there game is. is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about... 50-50. 50-50, alright. Smart ass. <laughs> oh crap. Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing Oh, let me get some there. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are going to get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. It's risky, but I like it. Let's do it. Ready? Ready. Ready. Come on, come on, come on. Push. <sighs> Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, maybe we wouldn't have been able to get the truck. Oh my god. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. <laughs> Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Wait, what? Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Oh, great. And I guess I gotta do that. Yourself. Guess I gotta do that manually. Shh. All right. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Okay. Oh, there we go, right there. Toolbox. Wire cutters? What the hell? My man! Get the hell off me! Enough of this! Jeez. Alright. Back to work. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Alright, you be careful. Okay. Here goes. 
I have no idea how to hot wire a vehicle, guys. What? First time for everything. Oh wow. Wire cutter should help with this. Uh okay. Starter wire? What is this? Ignition wire battery. Okay, let's cut this. Alright. And cut this. I think this is the right decision. Alright, so then we just need to wait, why would I why do I need to cut those? I don't need to cut the, the battery wire, do I? What? I guess I do. I was. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, battery. Power truck. Power ignition. Don't get electrocuted. Don't get electrocuted. I feel like I'm finna die. <laughs> I'm finna get my butt shot. <laughs> Bro! All right, let's try this again. Let there be light. Oh, snap. We did it. But that light is shining in the wrong place. Oh, here we go. They want to come party with us. They want to ride, too. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get us out of here. Abby, hurry up. I'm trying. Uh, come on, trying. There we go. Let's go. Get in. Get in. Hey, let's go now. Oh crap. Woo! Drow. Too close. Too close. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Oh, yeah. It really takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. Mariana! You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff, not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. Oh my god. He like likes her. Nothing you get it? Not. Well, okay, I sort of am. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. Okay. I think. Enough. I think their first official date will be target practice. Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Uh, young love. Skinning and eating a wild animal. It's so normal, you know? What the hell? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Is it bad if I kind of envy them? Those early days, before you get up the courage to say exactly what's on your mind? You never get those back, do you? No. No, you don't. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and... It's never too late! Murray, both. They deserved better than this. 
that's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. Hello? You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. Uh... You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Uh, who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. Say what? <laughs> I know we've had moments, you and I. Uh-oh. And they're always a little hot and a little hell? confusing. And maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know. Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. Oh, uh, we might not get another chance. You know what? She's right. Me no and them have been together for right? up the year. So you know what? Screw uh, it. We're going for it. Stay quiet. Let's go for it. We got to try, right? Exactly. Oh my God. Really? Really. So are we going to Why not? I mean, they they was together all those years when David was okay. gone, so hey. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. I mean, why not? I realize we're going to have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. Wait, what? You gotta get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Uh-oh. Shit. We gotta get over there. Now. Let's get it. I'm going to hang back here with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Let's get it. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. We're not going to know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember. If we're going to do something risky... We've got to make sure we've protected ourselves. Exactly. We're going to get Dad back. We can't fight fair. Well, here we go. the others can we for years now richmond has been governed by one simple principle strong council strong community but unfortunately the actions of one of the members of that council our security expert
David Garcia have put us all She's in danger. She's lying to all of you. I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. What the hell? Just look what he's done. What? David ordered his brother and the rest of his people to kill our doctor. And they were happy to do it. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Are you serious? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. Try to keep you cool. Joan's smart, but we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Javi. Oh, no, we won't. There. I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. Gladly. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Harvey? Why would you do that to us? Oh, you want the truth? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius. But you didn't care about that. He gave us pills, damn it! He deserved to die. The pills! Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond. What you were trying to do. And he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me? He's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend... Eleanor last night. Wait, what? She was the one who alerted us to David's plot against Lingard. Are you serious? Isn't that right, Eleanor? What? We did. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. What? Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. But I guess hope springs eternal. Hell no! And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty. Which makes this so much harder. Are you kidding me? Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Oh hey, no! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. What? You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You gotta be kidding. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crime. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. What? No, no, no. Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this. No, no, no. Let them live. Go along with let you. them live. If you're going to punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Oh my god. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Bro, Clint, do something. Boys. <gasps> what? Come on, Javi. My man. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Are you serious? I gotta choose? What? I don't know. Oh, come on. This is fucking stupid. You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. I don't know. I'm trying to close my eyes. I'm going to just pick this button. I don't know. I'm You're sorry. Thing, Javi. How could you do this? I'm sorry. I don't know who to pick. All right. Random button mash in now. Let I don't know. Live. She's always been loyal. Javi. No. Well, there's a hobby I know. Backstabbing. Double crossing. No Wait, what? Dirty 
fucking murder! Such language. Oh, what did I, I pick? I the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. What did I pick? Shoot her. Wait, I said don't shoot Ava. You did, but there's something else you need to understand. I knew it! Betrayal. She's an ass! Think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. Are you, you serious? You this on yourself. Do it. What? My man! You can't... Oh! No! Oh! oh they really shot her. God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. What? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I made the right choice after all. <laughs> Trips to allow. I can't you believe can't... this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Clint, come on, bro. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's going to happen here. Are you serious? You ready for that? She's insane. We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. Don't listen she to killed. them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. Take if the you deal. Do it, I fucking will. Take the deal or shoot her. You know what? Let me out of here. I'll Drop dead. Her. Drop dead. Drop dead. Get the fuck out of here. Just kill her. Kill her. Oh crap, David. Oh my god. This episode oh crap oh 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 his body's left and right get out of here buddy ava i'm so sorry ava oh crap oh crap crap time crap kill him kill her kill her there we go oh come on come on come on get him out of here Woo! All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on it. Come on it. You gotta be kidding me. Trip, my man. Son of a bitch. Get back here. Oh my God. Okay, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. What? Okay. He's scared. He's scared now. Oh my god. I was too quick. Shoot him. Get out of here. No, Clementine. Shit. I gotta help her. God damn it. Just go. I'll try and cover you. Thank you, Trip. Let's go. Get out of here, buddy. Woo! We had a way out of this, Hobby. Why did you have to go and shoot her? Shit, get down! I hear gunfire. What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys okay? We'll come to you. It's too risky. We'll come to you. I I can't hear you. It's too loud. Tear gas! I think. Oh crap. They're trying to smoke us out. I can't see a thing. What's up, buddy? Give me this gun. Give me this gun. Get out of here. Hey, no! It's Kate. She's coming for us. She can't see. Oh no, not the Molotov! You gotta be kidding me! Oh! Oh! 
you have got to be kidding. Oh god! Javi, you've got to get over there before. Oh! Yo! What? Jade! Wow. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. That just escalated like crazy. Episode four, thinking in water. Wow. Uh promise you help, Kate. Yep. Uh Gave Lingard his request. That's cool and all. Tell K you have feelings for her. Yep. Uh, fifty-eight percent saved Ava. <laughs> Ava died. Fifty-six percent shot Joan. Yo. I had to kill her. She was crazy. She was gonna come after us again. I just, I just knew it. Oh my gosh. Well guys, that's the end of episode four. Next up is episode five from the gallows. Guys, I know what you're probably thinking. What would have happened if I would have say trip? Well, since she shot Ava and I randomly picked Ava, my guess is she would have shot Trip too. And Oh my gosh, guys. I, I just don't know. I don't know what to say about this episode, guys. This episode is insane. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about this uh, episode. Uh, drop some likes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know. What would you guys have done? Would you guys would have took Jones off her or shot her? Or would you guys would who would you guys want to save? Ava or Trip? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I will respond to you guys' comments. I always do. But guys, with that being said, I hope to catch you guys in the next episode of The Walking Dead. Things are really, really hit the fan now. So this next episode is probably going to be a war zone. We're going to have to see. I uh, sure hope Kate's still alive. We're, we're going to try to find out. Hopefully next episode. But guys, with that being said, I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Keep it 300. Peace out.